Do you have a deaf cat? Well, if you do, these are three very important things to remember. Number one, your deaf cat can play, and they should play. Flashing lights and things like that, that if you're going to roll them across the floor, your deaf cat can follow it. Same thing with flying toys. Anything that doesn't have to have sound to it is the best way to go. Number two, don't forget to build up. Give your cat some vertical space. One thing that a deaf cat could really appreciate is being able to survey the territory without having to compete for floor space. Finally, don't forget that your cat can hear you. I know that sounds really obvious, but use different types of visual cues when talking to your cat. The lights going on and off, or to make sure that when you approach them, step really hard on the floor so they can feel the vibrations. You don't have to feel sorry for your deaf cat. You just have to adjust your life a little bit. Your deaf cat is not looking for your pity. They just see themselves as a cat. You should do the same thing. Challenge, not all comfort. They will thank you.